Have you ever saddled a Mustang and rode over a rugged trail with the crisp mountain breezes blowing in your face? Where you feel like looking up into the broad expanse of heaven and offering up a silent prayer of thanksgiving to that felt but unseen power. And a sense of peace and calm comes to you that you've never had before. And as your pony plods to the summit of that slight incline, he is forced to make a sharp turn in the path. And suddenly there lays before you a setting created by Mother Nature that's undreamed of. She has draped a dress of emerald green as a carpet spread before your feet for miles and miles and trimmed one edge with a shimmering, dancing little stream, its tiny ripples shining like ribbons and rubies set with diamonds in the reflection of the setting sun, fast disappearing behind the curtain of the early evening clouds. A large but scattered herd of cattle are grazing quietly over the grassy range. A trail of smoke issues from the stovepipe in the chuck wagon. And a faint odor of cooking is wafted on the breeze to a tired and hungry traveler as the colored cook dynamite prepares the evening meal for Pinto Pete and his ranch boys. Come, stranger. Join this happy group and rest. Refresh yourself and add to the few minutes of song and fellowship before the evening campfire. Hey. Oh, Jack, I sure do like that number. Hey, Pinto, you know, I'm sure glad you showed up. Now that you've brought all these folks along, maybe it'll stop Curly and Shug from arguing. Now, boss, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't argue... But this here Suge is just like a dead gum noonday whistle. He's always a blowing off, but he don't mean nothing. Oh, yeah, you're the one that makes all the fuss when it comes to talk, 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 talking. You got a tongue long and Mister Jones well roll. Yeah, you better hush. I'll smack you so hard your shirt will roll up your back like a window blind. Oh yeah. <laughs> just when I get through with you, you'll be tore up working in an old salad bed. Oh, oh Jack, <laughs> having company doesn't seem to affect these two bandy roosters. We'd better put them to singing so neither of them can talk. That's a good idea, boss. <laughs> we'll take them back on the Texas Plains and leave them there for the coyotes. I hope they <laughs> I wanna drink my java from an old tin can while the moon goes climbing high. I wanna hear the song of the whippoorwill. I wanna hear the coyotes cry. I wanna feel the saddle horse between my legs, riding him out on the range, just to kick him in the side, make him show his step and pride. Back on North Texas plains. Some of those golden boots. <laughs> well, how come? Well, look at his feet. 
There's a debt burn big. They got a heart and a pair of lungs all their own. <laughs> 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 Say, you don't look like no toad to, 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 to dance to yourself. Look at them legs of his, fellas. It look like a couple of bar bar barrel stays. <laughs> oh, all cowboys at full legs. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get them that way from forking the bucking horses. You got them from squatting around a milk pail. <laughs> oh, I did not. Well, Jack, get them to singing again. <laughs> okay, golden flippers. Oh, my golden slippers and my laid away Cause I don't expect to use them till my wedding day And my long tail coat that I love so well I wear it in the chair and in the morning And my long white robe that I wore last June Why not get a change cause it fits too soon The old gray horse that I used to drive I'll hitch him to the chair in the morning Oh, them golden slippers Oh, them golden slippers The golden slippers I swine to wear Cause they look so neat
Right here. Yes, Doggone, you were sure singing that. We're mighty glad to have had you out here this evening. And there's a little secret that I want to let you in on before you go. Yeah, sure. Tell them, boss. Well, it's this way. Curly and Sugar are just putting on that argument to entertain you. In fact, they're two of the best friends in the outfit. <laughs> yes, sir, boss. You yes, indeed you are. Yes, you know sir, it, too. We're pals, boss. <laughs> We've been pals when the sun shone, pals when it rained. If we had it all to do over, we'd be the same again. Hand in hand together, when brightest hopes do fail. And we'll be pals when we come to the end of this long, long trail. Our slumbers are going to be mighty sweet because of your visit. And we'll hope you come there again. So long.